we're at Capel Manor College in Greater London. Head of Horticulture and Landscaping, Tom Cole, is going to show us how to hot compost. Composting is nature's way of recycling. Organic matter is decomposed over time to become a nutritious fertiliser, which can be fed back into your garden. Cold composting refers to leaving the organic matter to decompose naturally. Hot composting is a method of accelerating the process by regularly digging through or turning the decaying matter. For this reason it is also known as active composting. Step 1. You will need Ideally for hot composting you will need a series of 2, 3 or 4 composting bins, depending on the size of your garden. These should have gaps built into the structure to allow the air to ventilate and a removable side to allow easy access to dig the compost. The purpose of multiple bins is to allow the composting process to be staggered into batches, combining and adding further batches as the organic matter decays. Alternatively, you could use a tumbling bin. This can be filled by the top opening and then spun to turn the compost, but may lead to an uneven mix. Another option is to use a bottomless bin. This can be filled through the top opening and then lifted for access to dig through the compost. You will also need a pitchfork. If you don't have one, an ordinary fork will do. An old bit of carpet. And a few bricks or something heavy to weigh the carpet down. A garden fork. Secateurs. And possibly a wheelbarrow to collect composting material. Finally, you'll need the composting material itself. This can be absolutely any organic matter, excluding meat, which will attract vermin, perennial plants, which may regrow where they're not wanted, and glossy cardboard or magazines, which will not break down. Step 2. Start a compost batch. Collect any organic material laying around your garden. Dig up spoiled or dead vegetables and shake off excess soil. Pull up weeds and add to the pile. Perennial plants, like this bindweed, must have their roots torn off and discarded, otherwise they will regrow in the compost. Break up any woody plants into pieces. The smaller the particles, the quicker the composting process takes. Add fallen leaves, grass cuttings, twigs and any other unwanted organic matter. The bigger the variety in composting ingredients, the better the quality of the final compost. Collect both brown and green vegetation. The brown is carbon heavy while the green is nitrogen heavy. A good compost needs a mix of both. Warning! If you've been using a fungicide or pesticide on your lawn, don't add the grass cuttings to the composting pile. The treatments will cause the essential organisms which aid the decomposing process to die. Take your collected pile to the composting bins. Step 3. Layer. Fork the material into an empty bin. If you feel the material is too dry, add in a layer of grass cuttings for moisture. Top tip. If you have a second batch of compost that has already begun to decompose, add a layer to the top of your new batch. This will weigh down the fresh matter and speed up the process. Step 4. Cover. Use an old piece of carpet to cover the compost pile. Place pieces of wood or some bricks on top to weigh it down. This seals in the heat and humidity, aiding the decomposing process. Step 5. Leave to decay. Leave the compost to rot for about a month. The pile will compress and shrink as it decays. Check occasionally to see if it's too wet or too dry. If it's too wet, add some green vegetation, and if it's too dry, add brown. The ideal consistency should feel damp but not produce water when squeezed. Step 6. Turn the compost. After a month's time, remove the covers, pull out any branches or matter that hasn't rotted and discard. Turning it like this allows air to get into the layers, helping the microbes break down the compost. This process is called aeration. As you dig further down into the bin, you'll get to the better decomposed matter. Layer this on top, its weight and moisture will seep down into the fresher layers and speed up the decaying process. Cover as before and leave to decay. Turn once every month. Step 7. Finished compost. In three or four months' time, the compost will have become a dark brown, crumbly-rich fertiliser. Done.